trying to learn what it means to be a leader in the household of faith. Not only that, what it meant to be an ambassador for the Almighty God. Not just in St. Louis, but across the globe. I know this young man to be a profound preacher, dynamic Christian educator, and he has made his mark for God across the United States and as far as the Philippines. He is well recognized within this community. And I stand here before you today to say that I am glad that I know him, not only as a man of God, but as a friend. And let me tell you something. Being friends in our circle of pastors and ministers, sometimes you can't allow, as they used to say, the smooth taste food. Many times you find that you have sheep and wolves clothing. But I know this young man to be a good friend, an authentic friend, transparent and trustworthy person. So I want to present to you today and introduce to some none other than my good friend, the Reverend Dr. Ryan Creer. Let us receive him. Gospel according to St. Luke, 
the Gospel according to St. Luke, the 17th chapter, and beginning at the 11th verse. Luke chapter 17, and beginning at the 11th verse. When you have it, just say amen. amen. Eleven through uh, nineteen. Let us read together. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master. Have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered, answering said, Were there not ten cleansed, but were all the nine? Mm. There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify thy name. Thank you, O God, for your word. Yes, Lord, uh, as your word go forth, Lord, uh, we ask that you prepare uh, your people's heart to receive the word, to apply the word, and also to share your word. Yes, sir. And Lord God, and we uh, ask it in the name of Jesus that you will confirm your word with signs, wonders, and works and miracles. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and all the people said, Amen. Amen. And when one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Our, our message for today, be grateful for the new you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be grateful for the new you. Yes, sir. You see, once you meet Jesus for yourself, you will never again be the same. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, Paul said, uh, old things are passed away, yeah. and behold, all things become new. Yes, sir. So, so when, you meet, when you meet Jesus, not to say that everything will change overnight, but as you grow, you don't do the things that you used to do. Yes, How many of us here are glad we don't do the things that we used to do? Amen. So, so here, so here we find out that Jesus was on the go. Yeah. Uh, he was on the move. He was going through uh, to Jerusalem, but he passed through Samaria and Galilee. Yeah, yeah. You see, you see, Jesus uh, 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 was always on the move. But we have so many people nowadays who who says they want to be like Jesus, but they don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. Said they want to be like Jesus, but they don't want to go beyond the four walls of the church. Yeah. And not only was Jesus on the move, but Jesus was also a bold yeah. person. Yeah. You see, you see, he went through Galilee going to Jerusalem, or went through Samaria going to Jerusalem. But uh, 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 you know, the Jews and Samaritans did not have anything to do with one and another. Yeah. But Jesus was bold. He wanted to make a difference. He wanted to make a change. So he been a Jew going through Samaria to get to uh, uh, to get to Jerusalem was a bold statement in and of himself. So 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 you know we have we have a, a lot of people. We have a lot of people even in the church. They they talk about how bold they are, but yet they don't want to go in Ferguson. But yet they don't want to go down downtown city of St. Louis. They don't want to talk to the drug addicts and the alcohol and prostitutes and yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, those are all the people that God wants. You know, Jesus said when well, he came, he came for the lost sheep of Israel. Yeah, yeah. He was a physician, he was 
and a physician, uh, um, uh, those who are not sick need not a physician. In other words, we need some boldness to where we can go, if you will, down in the hood and be a witness and be a light to those who don't know Jesus. Yeah. Now, 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 believe, believe or not, believe or not, there's a lot of people who heard of God, but they don't know who God really is.
strange. He noticed something strange. He noticed something that was different about him. And then as he was walking to the priest, that he looked at his hands. And his hands looked good. He looked down at his feet. And the thing there too. He discovered that as he was going to the priest, that he was healed. You know what thing about this man is.
your man.
Lord, Lord, I don't want to hear you. Who was that person? Come on out. Don't be ashamed. Come on out. The Lord said, all right.
let us stand. Anyone here who may be struggling in life and have not connected with Christ in a way that your life has begun to turn toward the positive. Now is the time to come. Amen. We ask that all who are able to stand to please stand because one of the things that we do here at Holy City, that even though there may not be one to come, we take this opportunity to pray for someone. Quietly. Could be somebody in your family, somebody that's a co-worker, a neighbor, that you have been trying to show them the love of Christ. They have yet to make that turn or that decision to come to Christ. Now's your time to pray for them and ask that the word will plant itself in their heart and that the spirit of God will massage their spirit and move toward an end of resolution with God and that they may come to him in order that they may live their life in eternity at the end of their days here in the earth. Come now, pray, pray for them, pray for them. Take a moment and pray for them. Again, it could be a, a relative, a loved one, co-worker, neighbor.